Okay, so I just dropped everything in my hands to make this video here because this is huge news, like absolutely enormous news when it comes to the content creation sphere of using Adobe, Illustrator, and InDesign by Photoshop. Like this is completely gonna shake up how they do their business model going forward. For people who haven't heard, Affinity, which is the software that I've been using for the past half a year or so, like the one that I swapped to because I got tired of paying a enormous subscription to Adobe every single month. And I've been doing that for like 13, 14 years by now. I've spent countless money. Well, not countless, I actually calculated it. A lot of money <laughs> for those years in order to gain access to those specific products, right? Affinity just partnered with Canva and they have dropped a huge bombshell of a news, which is that all, th all three Affinity products which is Affinity Photo, Affinity, what is it called? Designer and Affinity Publisher are 100% free. 100% free. This is not a scam. This is not, oh, it's free, but for 30 days or something like that. It is 100% free. You just need to lock in with an account there's no, you need to, you know, give them your credit card information. You just downloaded it and it's, it's free. For people who don't know, Affinity is 99% like Photoshop or InDesign or Illustrator. It is so close up against what they provide that it's absolutely stupid not to look into what Affinity is when you want to use those particular three products that of course, Adobe do have many apps, like 20 plus apps or something that can do many different things like video editing and I don't know, like <laughs> if you wanna do animation, stuff like that. But for people just interested in Photoshop, Illustrator or InDesign, Adobe just got absolutely crushed today. Like this is, okay, let's just dive into this and just kind of show what this is. So basically Affinity's website has changed. Now to say we have these four different products, we have graphic design, photo editing, page layout, and something called Canva integrations. These three are 100% free. Do not require a credit card. You just need to lock in using a, let's say your Google account or Facebook account, and then you download these. That's it. The fourth one does cost a subscription, but the subscription cost is less than a third of getting those Creative Cloud apps from Adobe. And I'm talking about the plus 20 plus app version, right? Uh, the crazy thing is if you do actually go to Adobe's website and let's say, you know, you want this uh, package here, which is $70 for all the different 20 plus apps and stuff. If I just want to have Adobe, the monthly subscription is $23, which is more expensive than getting the pro version of Affinity which has all the AI tools that Photoshop has that right now Affinity does not have, at least in version two, but Affinity version three, which is now free, has the AI tools for less of a price than Photoshop does. And you get three softwares. I don't know what to say here, but just, I, I, I'm speechless. This is gonna shake up how Adobe does everything when it comes to those three particular pieces of software. And I could imagine they're in a small bit of a panic right now <laughs> because Affinity just did this. It's absolutely mind boggling. And I know there's gonna be skeptics, skeptics sitting there saying, Daniel, they say it's free, but is it really free? You know, is, is it really gonna provide the same experience as Photoshop has, you know? Um, so basically, and I just want to show this one particular thing because I thought that was like super funny. They, they have a little bit of humor here. I think this is a super funny, a super funny plan word. But essentially, yes, Affinity really is free. You can use every tool in the pixel, vector and layout studios, plus all the customization and export features as much as you want with no restrictions, no payment needed. If you're on Canva Premium, then you also unlock the powerful AI tools. That's it. Like that's the only thing you get with the premium. That's the AI tools. And you just click download and you get it. When it says sign up, it's basically just lock in with your Google Plus account. 
that's it. And then you're taken directly to the download page. You choose which version you want. Unfortunately, this is not available on Linux as usual, but there's probably bottles that can get around it somehow, you know, like the bottles app that you can get on Linux to, to do this. But this is such a, such a big stomp <laughs> on Adobe. Uh, for people who don't know, if you've not been inside the Adobe sphere for a while, Adobe has this thing and it was a thing last time I checked, which was half a year ago, that if you signed up, you bound yourself for a year. You basically signed a contract that said you have to pay for a year of subscription. So if you cancel after two months, you get a one time billing for the remaining 10 months of your subscription uh, contract that you have to pay now. It's an absolutely scummy a parasitic move in order to leech out money of people who just thought they could just sign up and cancel anytime they want it. You can, if you are subscribed for at least a year, then you can, you know, cancel anytime you want. And even then, I remember trying to cancel once with Adobe many years ago. And basically, I, they actually told me I had to pay that one time thing, but they also made it really hard for me to get in contact with them to cancel my subscription. Affinity is not like that. It is an absolutely godsend on the creator community when it comes to design tools. So how does it actually look like? Cause I did actually download it. Now this is the old version. This is version two. I just purchased this half a year ago because it, it's basically identical to Photoshop. It doesn't have the AI tools. Everything else is identical. And you'll notice that we have three different studios, which is image manipulation, graphic design, and layout, right? For creating books and stuff. Uh, those are three different software and you would have to open them and then swap between them. But inside the new version, which is version three, which is the um, Affinity version three, we have all three different tools inside the same editor. There's no swapping between software. It's just in here, right? So we have Vector, which is Illustrator. We have Pixel, which is Photoshop. And then we have Layout, which is InDesign, basically, you know. And you can go between them. So if I go inside Pixel here, I can find an image. Let's just say I have this uh, Halloween image here that I can just paste in. You know, I can stretch it out just to make sure it fits my Canva. There we go. We have all the different tools here. I can click on the image. I can add some contrast to it, you know, just like you would inside Photoshop. So we're going to do this. So we only affect the layer, you know, you can do different changes to it. Uh, basically all the different tools that you would need inside Photoshop you have here and I can go inside vector mode. Oh, I want to start doing some graphic design. I can draw directly on my Canva here and start doing things that I would have to import inside, you know, illustrator or, uh, the other tool, what was it called designer? You know to do so we can just directly swap between three different versions oh i want to add some text i go inside my uh, indesign tool add a text thing i might do some filler text like it's very intuitive if you know adobe products it takes you like 10 minutes and then you just know how to use these programs like it's so close up against uh you know adobe products it's just amazing like Oh, I, I want to move this. I go back into vector mode. Let's uh, let's move this. Actually, I think you can move this around inside photo mode too. If I go in here, um, this is free, by the way. I know we have software like GIMP and other programs out there. There was a person who commented a, another software and said, oh, I, I can't believe people don't know about this one. It's so much better, but GIMP and other alternatives to Affinity and, and Photoshop like you know, Adobe tools, they're always very unintuitive and they don't have a lot of focus on user design. Like you can always tell those are made by technical people who don't mind spending hours learning how to use a tool, you know, just to do basic things. Affinity and Adobe are extremely user friendly and extremely powerful tools. But Affinity is now free, 100% free. I didn't pay for this. I just locked into my account and now I have it. It is mind blowing to see. Now, of course we do have the fourth tool up here, which is called Canva AI. This is the premium version. 
So what I can do is I can, for example, do a text prompt up here. You can actually see I tried to type in a beach. I tried to generate and then it says, oh, you want to use AI, then you got to you got to pay a subscription cost. If I open this, you can see that the subscription cost is only this amount of, of Danish crowns, which is about $17 a month, which is cheaper than just getting Photoshop every single month. And this is not to get affinity. This is to get the premium version with AI. I'm very passionate about this, <laughs> as you can probably tell. Um, this is completely mind blowing. Like, I don't know, Adobe has exploited the fact that they have been dominating the market for so many years. And of course, they still have more software to offer than Affinity does. So specifically, if you are just interested in, you know, like Photoshop, Illustrator or InDesign, in no way should you be signing up to Adobe. It is completely, I don't know, either you just don't know that Affinity exists out there or you just, I don't know, maybe you have a company and because the workflow has been using Adobe for so many years in the internal company structure, um, that swapping from Adobe to another thing might be a little bit complicated and you have the money to throw at it. That might be a reason to continue using Adobe products for those three particular tasks. But if you're a new company that's still are trying to figure out what they want to use for tools or a private person, Adobe just got completely annihilated today. Like this is such a better value proposition. It's free. Like it's infinitely better value propositional wise. I don't know. I'm speechless. <laughs> it's it's exactly identical. It, it, may, it may have some new features because it is the third version of Affinity. I, I haven't quite found the new features yet. Who knows? There might be some, but so far it looks the same. Like it has been modernized a little bit with some of the features. Like for example, the uh, if you want to hide a layover here, you have a eye icon. Whereas if you go inside uh, Affinity here, let's actually throw the same image in. Then it's a little dot that you have to toggle on and off. And they kind of told themselves, well, do people understand that the dot over there is visibility that you can toggle the the layer on and off. Well, let's make that a little bit more usable. Let's have it be an eye icon, just like Adobe has, you know, I don't know, like th there is another thing I do want to mention here. The icons over here are black and white and inside Affinity 2, you'll notice they're colored. I found this extremely helpful inside Affinity 2 that they're colored. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find out if you could actually change those icons inside Affinity. Hopefully you can, because I actually kind of love that feature, but so far I haven't been able to find it. Then you go home and then you have like, you know, uh, if you want to create a new template, you just uh, you can go to recent, learn, templates, favorites, or see more over here on the side. And then you have many more templates. It is kind of hidden away over there, but you do have access to all these different templates. Uh, what should the DPI be? What should the uh, background be like? Should it be transparent? And it actually remembered um, my setting here, which is kind of nice. I want transparent background, so that's that's neat. Do you want margins? Do you want bleed, which is for InDesign if you want to, you know, create a book or something, or a flyer, or you know, whatever, a magazine, um, artboards. I don't know what that is. Who knows? We'll try it and see what it is. Let's create an A4. Let's actually see, uh, want to have this in uh, portrait mode. So if we do that, uh, let's have artboards. It actually changed over here. So we do need to reset the settings. Uh, but yeah, if you create documents, then what is the art thing? Artboard. Oh, so it's actually a layer mode for something specific that I don't know. Um, <laughs> I've always been using Photoshop, not as much Illustrator and InDesign, but again, Oh, I have this thing. I'm trying to create a brochure. You know, I'm inside the layout mode, maybe, and I need to get an image in. Oh, I can just drop it in and I can go in and I, if I want to change the image. Oh, I'm going to add in some uh, some vibrance to it. Let's make it a little bit more vibrant or, you know, change the image, go back inside layout and then continue. I don't know. Th this is uh, this is absolutely going to kick Adobe's butt <laughs> with this new uh, free 
whatever plan they have going on right now. I'm kind of blown away. What do you guys think? Like this is... I know that we have like, th there are people who are kind of like fans of something like GIMP. I tried using GIMP. I thought it was very unintuitive. I love the fact that we have GIMP because GIMP has sort of been the savior to people who did not want to pay a monthly subscription to Adobe for many years. Like GIMP is something that we owe everything to because it provided a free alternative to Adobe. It's sort of the difference between do you want to have a professional software inside your company? In that case, you probably wouldn't be using GIMP. Like, let's be honest here, you'll be using Adobe for that particular purpose because it's a professional software. If I hired some designers inside my uh, web agency, I would not, you know, punish them by using GIMP. Like that is sort of a given that you have to use Adobe products because you want to give them the best tools out there. But now you don't have to go to Adobe. Now it's about, do you want Adobe or Affinity as a professional tool inside your company? What do you guys think? This is absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm kind of happy. Like, you know, I, I w donating money to this company here would, would be an understatement. Like that would actually be a nice thing to do because of what they're doing here. Um, but I am sort of happy <laughs> that I didn't manage to to buy the other two software in time for for this to to happen. Like this is this is just absolutely incredible to see this pixel mode, vector mode. I mean, come on, you can just swap between the tools. It's fast. It's responsive. There's no latency or lag in any sort of way. Of course, on a slower laptop or something, I, I can't promise anything. But like this is this is mind blowing. Paintbrush tool. Can I paint? Oh, not inside that layer. Gotta create a new one. There we go. And then I can go inside layout mode and I can I can move it around and adjust my text accordingly. Like what is this? <laughs> this is actually like I can't believe this is happening. This is uh, this is such uh, I don't know. I'm speechless. This is uh, something everyone needs to know about. Everyone needs to know about this. And I'm looking very much forward to see what Adobe's response is gonna to be to this. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time.